Controversy was sparked by the IFP's post on a social media site of an image of King Mrs. Zulu this week. The party came under fire from members of the Amazulu royal family and the ANC, who slammed it as electioneering. The IFP explained at the time that it was an infographic meant to be a message of support for traditional leadership. But it removed the post and fired the staff member responsible and also sent letters of apologies to the king. The issue again grew criticism from the ANC over IFP founder Prince Mangosutu Butelezi's role as traditional prime minister to the Amazulu king, a position which they claim is used to garner votes for the IFP. But Butelezi hit back and says the ANC is trying to destroy his legacy. I've never been a coward. It is perhaps my greatest fault, ladies and gentlemen, while I can be hurt and offended like any human being, for some reason, I cannot be intimidated. The ANC has dismissed the poster and pamphlets as fake. The first question you must ask yourself as journalist, if that pamphlet was issued in 2016, why was neither any of your broadcasters were aware of that pamphlet? Secondly, you check that pamphlet on top of the insignia of a firearm. There is no pamphlet of the ANC with a firearm on an election campaign. Despite the spate over election strategies, it will be up to the voters to decide what they make of the debacle. Blondie Khadeb, SAPC News, Deben.